Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 172 pounds. Fighting out of the muscle, Cypress, presenting the challenger, Love. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? Okay, you ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true Grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the out. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the time. Unable to land with that punch. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, big elbow. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to 
throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Let's finish this fight. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh, straight right. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Just over three minutes to go. Every time you can see him drive his chin into his opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Just out of range with that left hook. And they separate. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Counters with a right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. The Lay back kick. and forth we go. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, it's hurt. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Dig and kick. Got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees to either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and are options for positional advancements if you're patient. Unable to connect there. Final seconds here in round one. He blocks that strike. Second round, straight ahead. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big kick lands. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and 
the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Try to establish that jab. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Liv. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Big leg kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just out of range with that right hook. Just over three minutes to go. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Real quick leg kick. Another big head kick land. He blocks the punch. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's been the dance. Left hand punch with the clinch. Stuff already gets the takedown now, DC. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. You see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. A little single collar tie there. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Lands the right hand. Can't take many of those. You better check. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Good. All right. Big leg kick land. Straight right hand now, just misses. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked Ready? about his powerful Ready? kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me. Trying to establish that jab once again. with the right hand. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done, more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. <laughs> Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. But he somehow is managing. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It was high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Oh, God. Master of the transition. Nice rim. Nice kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Great punch landed with so much power. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement.